one time I had lost hope. But I thank God for touching my heart and said, continue to push. Don't stop. And that's what made me go out every Saturday morning to let them know there's still hope. I believe that it's going to get better. That's what continue to keep me pushing for. And I'm going to continue to push for to the change coming in that community. We started off with neighborhood beautification. But we found out you first got to get the drugs and crime out of the community. Mm -hmm. So we started having neighborhood drug marches. We get in front of crack houses. We shut them down and run the drug dealers off the street. When I first started fighting crime in that community, it was real bad. Every corner you had a crack house. And uh, like I said, we would go out 10 o'clock at night. And I see a 100% improvement in that area. We used to have a bank there. The crime was so bad, it closed down. Businesses were there, they closed down. But uh, I can see a, a great improvement. And like I said, we are working to improve it even more by trying to bring affordable housing to get some of those abandoned properties in that area torn down and be a new houses and bring families that really care about the community back into the community. Well, fighting crime seems like really risky business. When you got into it, were you concerned about the repercussions for your family? Yes, that's why I had to send my children to North Carolina to the school because I had a lot of people driving by my home. Like when we came against that Majestic Club, I got up to go uh, into my living room to pray about 2.30. About when I got into the, the living room, I seen the light going slow, car light, slow by the house. And they went and turned around and they came back and stopped in front of my house and turned the light off. And by that time, I opened my front door and turned on my lights. And we just stared at each other for about 15 minutes. And they finally cut the car back on, turned the lights, and they throw some paper out at me and they, they left. But I was afraid. <laughs> but I couldn't show that fear. So I believed in what I was doing. And, if, and uh, I made up in my mind if it was death, you know, I got to do what I got to do. That club, a lot of young men got shot and got killed there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first time that I came against that club, I guess it was about 04. And uh, like I said, the repercussion, I stopped because I had small children. And once the uh, Charles Foster, the young man, got killed there, the last one, I said enough is enough. Whatever the repercussion are, I'm willing to accept. It got to close. No more young people will be hurt there. So I put the campaign on. Like I said, they came against me. My windows were broken out and they would walk by my house, but I kept it up. I wouldn't stop because I got tired of seeing other people's children get hurt. I got a lot of faith. To be out in that community, I've been followed home after uh, sitting in front of a drug house. And uh, my wife been followed, and uh, one time we had to get the uh, police when she was working to follow her to work. And uh, I was really afraid for my children. But since they are grown now and they out the house, you know, it's just me. <laughs> and I got to do what I got to do. I cannot stand by and see another child be hurt, like the fox and lady. I had to go there standing in a... Uh, and protest against that place. So it's time for us here as leaders in our community to stand up for our community. And we got to put the fear aside. And once we do that and the people in the community see that, they'll begin to change. I can see it. I was on my perch uh, yesterday and this little girl about six riding a bicycle, she seen me on the perch. She said, hey mister, are you the, the uh, watchman? <laughs> I said, what? The watchman. She was trying to say neighborhood watchman. <laughs> and she laughed and went on. And I said, yep, we are making a difference. Wow. This child I'd never seen before. Mm -hmm. But she knew who I was. Mm -hmm. You made her feel safe. I made her feel safe. Mm -hmm. And that really, I went and told my wife, man, that really turned my heart. Mm -hmm. This child, six years old, knew who I was. Mm -hmm. 
and knew what I was all about, safety for our children. 